<laughs> Hello Traveller, and welcome back to Cryptid Central. In this video, we'll be examining 25 creepy cryptids from across the world. Many strange things have been seen in Germany, Japan and Australia, and I've managed to gather some information on them. Please, have a seat, and I'll share with you what I've found. But, just a quick thing I need to ask before we get started. You have locked your doors and windows, haven't you? Number 10. Yao Shikepu. A part human, part spider kami that haunts the town of Abuta Toyura in Hokkaido, Japan. It has been sighted over many centuries. The legend says that once, spirits cursed a villager of Abuta Toyura to see the destruction of his town. They sent a part spider, part human creature, Yao Shikepu, to fulfil the curse. Yao Shikepu caused rampant destruction, slaughtering so many innocents that the streets were filled with crimson blood. After hearing the townsfolk tremble with fear, the sea kami, Repun Kamui, transformed Yaoshikepu into an octopus and cast her into the sea, where she has been continually sighted for centuries. Number 9. Japanese Wolves Reports of small wolf-like canids, thought to be extinct, came out of the Chichibu district of Japan in 1998. At least 70 people reported wolf howls in 1994, and there have been at least 26 claims of wolves seen from 1908 to 1978 in northernmost Japan. Several sightings have also been made on the Ki Peninsula. In 1936, a man in Honggu supposedly captured a wolf pup, but released it in case a parent attempted to retrieve it. The Honshu Wolf, a dwarf wolf subspecies just over a foot tall and deemed extinct since 1905, fits the general description. Attempts to find wolves by playing pre-recorded howls to prompt them in 1995 were unsuccessful. Although Japan is heavily populated, its mountainous terrain may make it possible for a hidden population of wolves in this case, small wolves, to survive without public acknowledgement. Number 8. Ninjen Over the past few years, rumours have circulated in Japan about the existence of Arctic humanoid lifeforms inhabiting the icy waters of the Antarctic. Reported on multiple occasions by crew members of government-operated ships, these so-called ninjen, meaning human, are said to be completely white in colour, with an estimated length of 20 to 30 metres. Eyewitnesses describe them having a human shape, often with legs, arms and even five-fingered hands. Sometimes they are described as having fins, or a large mermaid-like tail instead of legs, or even tentacles. The only visible or identifiable facial features are the eyes and mouth. According to one account, crew members on deck observed what they initially thought was a foreign submarine in the distance. When they approached, however, it became clear from the irregular shape that it was not man-made. It was alive. The creature then quickly disappeared underwater. Number 7. Suchinoko The Suchinoko, meaning dirt child or child of hammer, is a snake-like cryptid from the mountainous regions of western Japan. These creatures are commonly reported as slithering deep within the watery caves of Shikoku and Honshu. Signs a Suchinoko may be in your area include hearing a mouse-like squeak coming from a river, or in some cases, a seemingly human voice mimicking your own conversations from the depths of a dank cave. They are reported to be between 30 and 80 centimetres long. The name Suchinoko is used in Western Japan, however, it is known as Bachi Hebi in Northeastern Japan, and has over 50 different names across the country. Number 6. Kappa Kappas are typically depicted as roughly humanoid in form, and about the size of a child. 
Their scaly, reptilian skin ranges in colour from green to yellow to blue. Despite their reptilian features, Kappa are said to have ape-like faces and scraggly green hair. Kappas are said to inhabit the many rivers of Japan and have various features to aid them in this environment, such as webbed hands and feet. They are said to smell like fish and can certainly swim like them. The expression Kappa no Kawa Nagare, a Kappa drowning in a river, conveys the idea that even experts make mistakes. Number 5. The Akashita Translating to literally red tongue, they are depicted as a beast with clawed hands and a hairy face covered with dark clouds, but its full body appearance is unknown. In its opened mouth is a big tongue. It is drawn as a beast with clawed hands and a hairy face, with most of its body hidden in a black cloud over a floodgate. It is characterised by its open mouth and large tongue. Number 4. Akateko Meaning Red Hand, the monster is described as the red hand of a small child descending from a tree. It is accompanied by the spectre of a young woman at the base of the tree, whose beauty lulls unsuspecting passers-by into a trance or fever state. The hand will then grab the traveller by the neck and rip them apart, limb by limb. Number 3. The Atkor Kamoi the Atkor Kamoi is a gigantic, octopus-like monster, equivalent to the Nordic Kraken. It is said that its enormous body can reach sizes of up to 120 metres in length. Its name can be translated as String-Holding Kamoi. Fish, crab, mollusks and the like are particular favourites of the Atkor Kamoi. It is characteristically described with the ability to self-amputate and regenerate limbs like several octopus species. This characteristic manifests in the belief that it has healing powers. Consequently, it is believed that giving offerings to Atkor Kamoi will heal ailments of the body, in particular disfigurements and broken limbs. Shrines in dedication to Atkor Kamoi are associated octopus deities and found throughout Japan. Number 2. The Basan Said to live in the mountains and resembling a large chicken, it breathes ghost fire from its mouth. It is described as having a bright red comb and spits an equally brilliant hued fire. The fire is a cold fire, a glow, and it does not burn. It usually lives in the bamboo groves of mountain recesses, but sometimes materialises in human villages late at night. When the basan flaps its wings, an eerie rustling sound can be heard. Supposedly, if a human hears the sound and looks outside, the bird's form will suddenly vanish. It is sometimes depicted with blue hackles and claws, green regimes, sickle feathers and a red body. It is also sometimes called the Fire Rooster. And number one, the Namazu. Namazu is a giant underground catfish who causes earthquakes. The creature lives under the islands of Japan and is guarded by the god Takamikazuchi, enshrined at Kashima, who restrains the catfish with a stone. When the Kashima god lets his guard down, Namazu thrashes about, causing violent earthquakes. The association of the Namazu with earthquakes seems to have first occurred in the area around Lake Biwa around the 16th century. The Namazu had been depicted in the pictures from the city of Otsu, which were manufactured in that area. The earthquake-causing creature became associated with the deity and foundation stone in Kashima. Widespread connections between catfish and earthquakes in Japan were not present until the late 17th century and only rose in popularity as symbolically causing or predicting earthquakes during the 19th century. Prior to the 1855 Edo earthquake, an eel fisherman reportedly spotted unusually active catfish in a river, which he took as a predictor of an earthquake. Later that night, the earthquake struck. The anecdote, recorded in an 1856 chronicle of journalistic reporting on the earthquake, is the earliest known claim that catfish can naturally predict earthquakes. 
In the 1930s, Japanese seismologists demonstrated that catfish in aquaria showed increased agitation several hours before earthquakes occurred, and were able to predict quakes with 80% accuracy. First on the list at number 10 is the thylacine, or better known as the Tasmanian tiger. A living fossil that mainstream scientists insist has been extinct since the 1930s, but sightings continue to be reported as recently as 2021. It is a dog-like marsupial with a wide opening mouth and are instantly recognisable by their signature tiger stripes, and are also famous for being the largest carnivorous marsupial in modern times. Sadly, their numbers were decimated after having to compete with dingoes for food, which were introduced to the area by humans 10,000 years ago, and they were also hunted both as a food source and because they were blamed for killing livestock. By the early 20th century, thylacines became extremely hard to find. In 1930, Wilf Batty shot and killed one. This specimen would be considered the last known wild thylacine. In 1933, a thylacine by the name of Benjamin was captured and sold to the Hobart Zoo. In September of 1936, Benjamin would die due to the negligence of volunteer zookeepers. However, since being officially declared extinct, there have been a recorded 3,800 sightings on file from mainland Australia alone since the 1936 extinction date. Number 9. The Gunai The Gunai is said to be found near Marysville, Victoria. The animal features deer-like antlers atop a wombat-like body, albeit one with striped markings on its back, hindquarters and tail. They were first sighted by gold miners in the 1860s in the Central Highlands, but the initial witness testimonies were put down to fertile imagination, or rough liquor. Marysville electrician Frank Murphy claims to have seen a Gunai in 1999 from about 200 metres away, on a property adjacent to Thick Bush, thinking at first it was a wombat, before he saw the tail. I got the fright of my life, he said. I thought it might have been somebody's lost dog, and then it turned around and had antlers on top of its head. It stayed still for 30 to 40 seconds, and then it went into the bush. Mr. Murphy said he thought the sightings of the Gunai might turn into a legend, much like the Loch Ness Monster. Although he hadn't been drinking before he saw the Gunai, he said, after I saw it, I went home and had quite a few. Number 8. The Drop Bear Drop bears are vicious marsupials that live in the treetops that will drop down onto humans and attack them. The Australian Museum describes the drop bear as having coarse orange fur, with some darker mottled patterning. They are around the size of a leopard or a large dog, and are heavily built with powerful forearms for climbing and holding on to prey. They are thought to live in the Great Dividing Range in southeastern Australia. Number 7. The Gippsland Phantom Cat the Gippsland Phantom Cat is a feline cryptid in the Gippsland region of southeastern Victoria in Australia. They look to be a type of panther, and reports in the region date back to the 1970s. Dr. John Henry, a researcher from Deakin University, studied the reported sightings from the 1970s and concluded that it was beyond reasonable doubt that large cats were roaming the Grampians region of Victoria. In June 2005, Kurt Engel, a deer hunter from Noble Park, shot what he claimed was a large cat in rugged terrain near the town of Sale. Engel photographed the dead cat before cutting off its 26-inch long tail and dumping the body in a river. In 2012, the state government purported that the existence of big cats in Victoria was highly unlikely. The excuse given by former Victorian Agriculture and Food Security Minister Peter Walsh was that big cats sighted over the years were merely large feral cats. 
the tale of the Gippsland Big Cat is closely related to similar tales of exotic felines that have been reported for many decades in the Blue Mountains west of Sydney, commonly known as the Blue Mountains Cat. Number 6. The Yarama Yahoo A blood-sucking creature that preys on people by sucking almost all of their blood before swallowing them whole. It would then take a drink of water and take a nap, then wake up and regurgitate the person, turning them into a Yarama Yahoo themselves. It resembles a blend of a human and a frog-like amphibian, standing four feet tall with hair and red skin. It has an enlarged mouth with no teeth, and suckers on the tips of its fingers that it uses to suck the blood from its victims. Number 5. The Yowie Considered to be the Australian Bigfoot, the Yowie is described to stand between 5 and 9 feet tall, with a large red mouth, talon-like claws, and two large canines which distinguish it from other Bigfoot species. It usually has either brown or red fur. Like most Bigfoot species, it is theorised that the Yowie descends from an ancient ape called the Gigantopithecus black eye. The most recent sightings were reported in early 2021. Three sightings were reported in 2021, and at least six sightings in 2020. All of the sightings were reported in the state of Queensland. Number 4. The Euroa Beast The Euroa Beast is a 30-foot long amphibious beast sighted in 1890. The first accounts of this bizarre event were published in the Brisbane Courier, and then in the Melbourne Argus on the 28th of February, and again on the 1st of March, 1890, where witnesses testified that a nearby swamp had been infested by an unidentifiable, 30-foot-long monstrosity since 1884. Some investigators have speculated that this pug-faced beast may actually be an ancestral amphibian known as Pederpes finiae. These short, squat, presumed extinct crocodile-like tetrapods hailed from the early Carboniferous and represent what many scientists believe to be the missing link between fish and land animals. Number three on our list is another living fossil, the Megalania. The Megalania is a thought-to-be extinct giant relative of the Monitor Lizard, which measured 35 feet in length and weighed over a thousand kilograms. Like their modern cousins, they were thought to possess toxin-secreting oral glands, and fossil remains are said to be from as recent as 23,000 years ago. This would have brought the early Aboriginal settlers of Australia into contact with this huge carnivore. These early encounters between humans and Megalania Prisca would have been terrifying. Aboriginal cave paintings depict a reptilian creature that is much larger than a human. Some depict stories of reptiles that brought fire and destruction with them. Many of these cave paintings are thought to be less than 10,000 years old. Author and cryptozoologist Rex Gilroy believes that the stories are fresh with the Aborigines because Megalania Prisca has not gone extinct. He relates the story of how the Australian town of Euroa was terrorised by a giant lizard in 1890. The story tells of a 30-foot reptile raiding farms and killing livestock. Many eyewitnesses reportedly saw the creature before it retreated back into the bush. Gilroy has chronicled some more modern Megalania Prisca sightings. In Alice Springs, a group of Aborigines reported seeing a giant reptile come through their camp. Another sighting by a scoutmaster and boy scouts reports a 22-foot-long lizard. One Megalania sighting did yield some proof. In the winter of 1979, Gilroy received a call from a farmer in Maruya. This farmer reported seeing a 20-foot-long lizard that left tracks. Gilroy was able to make a plaster cast of one of the tracks. In January of 2008, Gilroy found additional tracks on a forest trail about 185 miles of Maruya. He made a cast of these lizard-like tracks and found them to be very similar to the tracks from 1979. Number 2. The Hook Island Sea Monster 
Also known as the tadpole creature, the Hook Island sea monster is a 90-foot sea monster sighted off the coast of Hook Island. It is black in colour, with a gaping mouth and eyes placed on top of its head. The monster was sighted by Robert Leserick and his family in 1964 when it moved towards his ship with its mouth open, as if to attack. The witness said, It was only when we got to within 20 feet of the serpent that we could see its head clearly. The head was large, about 4 feet from top to bottom, with jaws about 4 feet wide. The lower jaw was flat, like that of a sandfish. The skin was smooth but rather dull, brownish black in colour, the eyes seemed pale green, almost white. The skin looked more like that of a shark than an eel. There were no apparent scales, nor did we see any parasites around. We supposed the flexible tail would have shaken any off. There were no fins or spines, nor were there any apparent breathing openings, although there must have been some. Perhaps we didn't see them because our attention was focused mainly on the creature's menacing mouth, the inside of which was whitish. The teeth appeared to be small. A fragment of some dark substance hung from the upper row of teeth, possibly a fish. As the monster was lying on the sandy bottom, we could not see the colour of its belly. The creature was about 90 feet long. Behind the head, the body was about 2 feet 4 inches thick, and remained that way for about 25 feet, then it gradually tapered into a whip-like tail. The general colour of the body was black, with one foot wide brownish rings every 5 feet, the first starting just behind the head. The skin was smooth but dull. Just as it seemed it would swallow the ship, it swam away. Lacerit managed to take a few shots before it swam away, never to be seen again. And coming in at number one is the Burren Jaw. A dinosaur cryptid that resembles a Tyrannosaurus, the Burren Jaw is described as being a giant lizard according to Aboriginal mythology. Based on sightings, it is 20 to 25 feet long, has small clawed hands, and is bipedal in nature. Throughout the 1950s, Australian cattle ranchers reported a large creature that was eating their livestock. Also, earlier accounts suggest that it is a reptilian animal whose diet consisted of kangaroos and other large animals. If it was not for the bipedal footprint findings, the Burren Jaw could have been mistaken for a megalania. A report tells of a man named Brian Clark who went into the woods and got lost in 1978. After the alarm was raised, he was tracked by policemen and two Aboriginal bushmen. The trackers woke up one night to a loud thunderous sound and the ground shaking. After finding the wayward traveller, policemen later told the man that if he ever went back into the woods and got lost, that they would not come looking for him. The last reported sighting happened in 1985, when a family was travelling to Roper River and they reported seeing a 20 foot long monster covered in feathers. Germany. A stroll through the Black Forest in Germany will allow you to see all sorts of wildlife. You'll see deer, you'll see squirrels, and you'll also see owls. Germany is also home to some more sinister creatures, however. For example, if you're unlucky, you may bump into the Barkalv. Number 5 on our list today, the Barkalv, a deeply unpleasant cryptid fond of ambushing intoxicated men at night and latching itself onto their shoulders. It forces these drunken men to carry it around for a while, before savagely attacking them. Witnesses report that the Barkalv is similar in appearance to an elongated or deformed calf with sharp fangs. The creature often lurks near water. It can be found near fountains, streams and in the sewers. In 1902, the city of Archen erected a statue of the Bakalv over an old well that the Bakalv was said to inhabit. This statue, however, was melted down for its metal during the Second World War. A second statue was erected in 1967, and this statue still stands today, serving as a grim reminder of that nasty creature that once plagued Germany, 
and possibly still does. Next on our list, we have a cryptid that you may not have realised was even a cryptid at all. The Doppelganger. Chances are you will have heard of the Doppelganger before, in the form of a person who looks exactly like another person, maybe yourself or someone you know. But what you didn't know is that the Doppelganger is actually a malicious creature, a shapeshifter and a changeling, able to mimic the mind and body of anyone. The Doppelganger originated in Germany and has since spread throughout the world. Translated into English, Doppelganger literally means double goer. Tell me, traveller, have you ever had a friend or relative tell you that you said or did something and become angry with you, even when you didn't? Have you ever been blamed for things that you have no memory of doing and been forced to apologise for them? If so, it could be the work of a malicious doppelganger who has taken your form and is spending time with the people you know. Number three on our list is a creature that looks as though it could be the next platypus. The Wolpertinger is a rabbit, deer and bird hybrid with a strong resemblance to other cryptid lagomorphs such as the jackalope which makes its home in the North American wilderness and the Skaveda, which is native to Sweden and possibly other Scandinavian countries as well. The Wolpertinger is commonly regarded as a hoax, but as you may already know, this is the exact attitude that mainstream science had to the platypus when it was first reported. The experts of the time didn't believe that a duck-billed mammal that laid eggs could exist, and yet it does. Bearing this in mind, isn't it possible that a winged rabbit-deer hybrid could also exist? Food for thought, traveller. Food for thought. Next up we have another vicious German cryptid, similar in some ways to the previously mentioned Barkow. The Aufhocker, translated into English, means leap upon, named after its habit of leaping upon humans, latching onto them with its razor-sharp claws and then tearing their throats out. The Aufhocker is a creature with vampiric qualities and is a shapeshifter, like the doppelganger. It sometimes appears as human-like, other times like a beast. The Aufhocker would seem to embody many of the most dangerous and frightening qualities of other creatures that it shares the German wilderness with. Like the vampire, the Aufhocker is intelligent and has been known to appear before humans to, as the legend goes, teach them lessons. The lesson in question will pertain to the individual that the Aufhocker is dealing with. It could be that those willing to heed the Alfhocker's advice and teachings are spared its wrath, while those who unwisely attempt to dismiss the creature are the ones to be leapt upon and then relieved of their blood. These are not the worst cryptids that the German-speaking world has to offer though, Traveller. As you know, many cryptids are animals, slaves to their base instincts, and only do what they do because they can do nothing else. There are a few, however, that are more than just animals. They have a human-like intelligence, a sadistic streak, and the capacity for committing truly evil acts. One of these highly intelligent and terrifying cryptids is the one, the only, Krampus. Krampus, a name that has struck fear into the hearts of all who have heard it for centuries, possibly even thousands of years. The Austrian government attempted to have mention of its name banned in the 1930s, but true evil doesn't stay buried for long. Until just a few years ago, it was virtually unknown across the wider world, being known only in Germany and in the Alpine regions of Western Europe. But now, word has spread. He is easily recognised by his goat-like horns, dark hair, terrifying fangs and his long, slithering tongue. This monstrous being is best known for being a kidnapper of children, naughty children, at Christmas time. While the benevolent ghostly spirit known as Father Christmas or Santa Claus rewards children who are well behaved and obey their parents, the other Christmas spectre, Krampus, is there to kidnap and torture those who do not. His torture method of choice is to whip children until they're raw and bloody with a bundle of birch tree branches 
He then stuffs them into his sack and takes them away to his lair. What happens from that point on is a mystery, perhaps best left unsolved. Like his more popular brother, he shows up once a year, the night of December 5th, to indulge in his favourite hobbies of abduction and torture. While seeming to favour children, I wouldn't take that as a guarantee of safety if you're lucky enough to have made it into adulthood. If, for whatever reason, you take his fancy, there's really not a lot you can do. Thank you for being so kind and listening so patiently to this old cryptid hunter. I do appreciate it. I hope this knowledge serves you well should you ever find yourself lost in Germany, Japan or Australia. And if you're in one of these places right now, well, all I can say is, good luck, traveller.